Gucci, what's Gucci, what's Gucci, y'all? Pineapple Gang. Ooh, it's your boy Activist back with another video. Look, we finna react to Solo Minati and give our thoughts and opinions on this. Let's get it, niggas. They don't really wanna wanna air it out. Got the 40 with the chopper, it will leave you with no option. I'm a shooters with the popping. Got a bullet for your talking. I'm a saying to the doctor, give a fuck about your mama. Got the heat for your drama. So. First of all, this is the same shirt I've been wearing like for like the past three videos, nigga. I like this shirt so much. I wash it and I wear it. Yeah, bro. That's just how I am. But look, I don't know if y'all so I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all know who Soul Luminati is. Recently, Soul Luminati seems to have had a spiritual awakening. But we're gonna give our thoughts and opinions on it on whether or not we think he's crazy or if he's on something. So, keep game, right? The first one we're gonna check out is this video titled XXX Tentacion is right, must see. By the way, if you wonder what that sound is, it's a fan. I'm That's true. Like that's kind of why I've been trying to like steer away from drill music, savage music, and all. Maybe only listen to it here and there, because music is very influential on your mind, bro. Like people don't realize like music can literally change the way you look at the world. Like if you listen to dark, depressive, and hateful music for like an entire month, you will probably become more angry, hostile, depressed, and hateful towards people within that month. And that's because music is powerful, bro. Music is powerful. People in the in the old days, like Beethoven, them niggas, they understood this, bro. And here's the thing about them niggas too: they had longevity in the music industry. Niggas like Lil Pump, Lil Pump will not be relevant in a year. I'm calling that now. Lil Pump will not be relevant in a year. He's already falling off. When was the last big Lil Pump song you heard? Lil Pump is already falling off. Smoke Purp is already falling off. I'm not saying this because I'm cool with Ominous. I'm just speaking the fucking facts. Them niggas ain't got no longevity. If you don't got longevity, long, how you get longevity in the music industry? You make music that people actually can connect with. Like, not pe that music that people can turn up with. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, you can make a few songs like that. But the real longevity is when you got music people can connect with. If you got music that somebody, like, Two centuries from now, can listen to him, but oh my fucking gosh, this dude understands me. You got longevity. Hence Beethoven. You still hear Beethoven, Mozart music in movies to this day, and them niggas lived centuries ago, like 300, 400 years ago, bro. Long time ago. They got apps that you can download, 432 hertz apps. You can play all your music and everything through this app. No, you cannot see frequencies. No, you cannot see it with these two eyes, bro. You have to raise your level of consciousness, meditate, take care of yourself, and you will start seeing shit. You will start understanding the shit that you never was un could understand because you was just not. Your brain wasn't. You wasn't working on your mind. So this is what happens, y'all. You wake up in the morning. You listen to your favorite song. Out of nowhere, you start feeling moody, anxious, anxiety, depressed. It's not the song's fault. It's not your fault. It's nothing wrong with you. It's the frequency that that song is playing on. Pay attention to your body. Pay attention to how you feel. It's like, bro, some drill songs you listen to, like, say, for, I want y'all to do this little experiment. So this is no hate to these rappers whatsoever. I actually fucks with these rappers. Music, 21, Fredo, Chief Keef, all of that. So what I want you niggas to do, find any song in your playlist, find three savage music songs, like drill songs, then find three good mood songs, like three turn up party songs or whatever that you would like ride to, like three Sunday drive songs or some shit like. Everything, everything you was taught was a lot. Basketball, football, everything is controlled. Music, everything is controlled. Think about it, it's a billion niggas that hoop and only 300 make it to the NBA. Out of a billion people, only 300 is chosen. A lot of niggas is wasting their life. I wish I would never play basketball my entire life. I would have been doing some other shit. 
maybe YouTube, maybe YouTube took me away from that shit for a reason. YouTube. Bruh, took me. when I tell y'all, YouTube saved my fucking life. I'm serious. You, this shit saved my fucking life, bro. That's a story for another time, though. Like, when you hear YouTubers say, "Without YouTube, I'll be lost." Some of them may be bullshitting because some of them may be trust fund kids, but then there's ones you really like. They ain't lying. YouTube really does change people's lives, even when they're not big and huge on that. Like, when that when they put their focus into it and they take their focus on stuff they were doing before, that can literally keep you out of so much trouble. YouTube literally saved my fucking life, bro. Me away from all the people that was around me for a reason so I could get this information to bring it to y'all. And all I want to add to that is y'all keep me going a lot more than y'all think y'all do. I'm serious. Download the app 3. Download the app 432 Hertz. When I end this video, I want y'all to look up 432HC versus 4408C. Most of the music today is played under that dark energy ass frequency that causes us depression. Yep. Help us move. You be in a concert, you drunk as hell, you around all this badass energy, all this type of shit flowing around you that you can't see with these two eyes until you start see, upping your level of consciousness. That makes sense, which makes me like say this nigga more than likely on to something instead of crazy because it's like I understand where you're coming from and like I'm gonna still keep my eyes on this nigga right now for this because just in case he starts acting out of the ordinary and it ain't no fuzzy tube shit but so far i'm not seeing no signs of reminiscing of fuzzy tube from last year but this nigga speaking like say for example you know how whenever you find out something you always believe is true isn't true and you get so fired up about it like you so turned up about it like when you're speaking on it you have so much fucking passion in you that it's like you sounding like this like that's that's what I'm seeing out of this, and this nigga speaking the truth. Cause like, think about it. You go to a concert. Let's say you see these reports of concerts. You see these news stories of like, uh, you see these blog posts about fucking shootings happening at certain concerts, like uh, somebody getting stomped out at a six nine concert or uh, shots fired near six nine. Like you, see, I don't know if y'all know this. Last year. Cause this, everything he's saying makes sense a lot with with certain things, especially like when Six Nine was popping and blowing up all his music. Like only a handful of his songs had some like positive energy to it, like Mala, Bebe, or uh, Gotti. But most other songs talking about shoot, kill, rob, steal, selling dope, all of that. And then what you normally see when you in the news with Six Nine arrested police looking for him raided uh beef shooting shots fired a lot of negative shit surrounded this nigga bro it was like a dark cloud over six nine it was like a dark cloud over this nigga y'all all turned up and then y'all come home hung over the next day y'all moody y'all tired y'all have no energy to do nothing you just spent all your energy at a concert under all that dark energy etc even clubs, clubs the same thing. You go to a club, they got that 440 hertz music playing in clubs. All that shit, bro. I know all this shit. Now it's crazy how I feel like I'm smart, but I'm the same. I'm the same nigga I always been. I just start getting the answers from myself. I start searching shit myself. I don't watch the news. I don't remember the last time I watched the news. I don't like watching the news either. It's very biased, no. The news is fake. It just keeps you annoyed and keeps your mind focused on shit that's not even real. Most of the shit on the news is fake. It's made up stories to keep you wondering and worried. Simple. Watch what y'all niggas listening to. That nigga XXX was right about that music, bro. They putting 440 hertz music. They making niggas depressed just listening to some bangers. I can't even listen to my favorite songs without getting stressed and depressed. I turn to music for stress and depression. Little do they know the music is what's doing it to them. And then they give you pills, tell you to go to the doctor and get pills. The pills is going to make your shit worse. Yep. <laughs> Stay woke, y'all. And I'm out, bro.
All right, y'all let me know y'all thoughts on that down in the comment section down below. Comment one percent if you made it to this part of the video. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new. What do y'all really think of this? Like, what do y'all get of this? Y'all think he going crazy? Or do y'all think he on to something? I personally think he on to something. I don't see him acting out of the ordinary and going and buying a helicopter and saying he going to do a pilgrimage to Mars or something to start a new colony. Like, something crazy. I don't see him doing nothing out of the ordinary. I mean, I see him speaking with passion after finding out some news. And I fucks with it. Shouts out to Soluminati. I'm going to keep my eyes on this. See y'all in the next video tomorrow, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Actually, see y'all niggas tonight because I'm going to be live. Make sure you don't miss it because I'm going to be playing Fallout 1 live and we're going to be kicking it, having a good time, all that chopping on. You know what's going on. See y'all next video tomorrow, 7 o'clock Central Standard Time. Deuce. That water in my system got them racks up in my system and I'm oh, piping up your yeah. sister. Got my hey, dick up in the yeah. system. Got that hey, drink up in my yeah. system. Flip oh, a 30,000 yeah. check. I keep a 30 years of yeah. check. I got that yeah. PG on my hey. dick. I get that yeah. bitch's pussy with.